The next Corolla is going to look good and be in LA by November. Audi buying Alpha? Hey, looks that way. Porsche's production version 918 is drinking protein shakes. Bentley in there fast as continental yet. And Infinity gives Sebastian Vettel another job. Plus, rapid fire New York Auto Show. And we're going back there on Thursday. More info at the end of the show about that. What's up? I'm Derek D. And this is Fast Lane Daily. Yeah, it may not be the most exciting car in the world, but the Toyota Corolla sells like hotcakes here in the U.S. It does. Even though I'm not exactly sure what hotcakes are. What are they, pancakes? I think they might be pancakes. Yeah. Hotcakes. Anyway, that being said, Toyota is planning on getting the next generation compact to the market as soon as possible, even before the LA Auto Show in November. Should have a reveal in the next couple months with the production car taking styling hints from the Furia concept, as you see right here. Concept, I'm sorry. It's apparently going to look more aggressive, be longer and lower than the outgoing Corolla, and we'll use a 1.8 liter four banger for better fuel economy and power. In related news, Adam Corolla still looks exactly the same. That is related. That is related. Fiat Baus. Baus. Sergio Marchioni insists that the Alfa Romeo brand isn't for sale, but recent reports are saying that Audi is nearing a deal to snatch up the Italian automaker from its Fiat parents. Now, Alfa has a bit of reputation for poor reliability, so it could gain some serious cred under the VW Audi umbrella, but definitely keeping that great look. Oh, yeah. All those sexy curves at me with no brakes. It's a good looking car. Yeah, very. But Audi scooped up Ducati already. Maybe they got a thing for Italians. Yeah, you're next. Oh, hey now. <laughs> All right, some serious info for you about the upcoming Porsche 918. Are you ready, Tom? Yeah. All right. A future 918 owner says the production model will rise in power from the originally estimated 795 ponies to how many? 875. That's right, 875 of them. A substantial increase, likely due to the tweaks to the 4.6 liter V8 and two electric motors. This owner also said there will be differences from the pre-production styling. It'll be lighter and will lap the ring in under seven minutes. The finished version will be at the Frankfurt Motor Show, but until then, McLaren and Ferrari might have to reconsider just how much competition the 918 will be come the unavoidable drag race, of course. That'll be a uh, cool drag race. Yeah, that'll be a good when one. When they do that. Yeah. Bentley's new Continental GT is already in beast mode when it comes to power, but the British automaker knew it would need a successor to the 2009 Super Sports. For those who think 500 plus horsepower just isn't good enough, well, the 2014 Super Sports is slated to go on a bit of a diet, adding carbon fiber panels, a stripped out cabin, and new seats while boosting output to 650 plus horses. That's cool and all, but I'll stick to an old school Lincoln Continental with that cool trunk tire styling thing. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. more my speed. And your price range too. Totally. <laughs> Infinity has announced that three-time F1 world champ Sebastian Vettel won't just be an occasional spokesman, but is now being given the title of Director of Performance. I'm sure a sizable paycheck goes along with it. After helping with the 2014 Q50 development and the Vettel Edition FX50, the F1 champ is apparently getting the hang of the business. So now he's a, he's almost like, I guess it'd be like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a consultant. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now we've done rapid fire news, as you guys know, but what happens when we do rapid fire auto show? This. That's the Mazda 6. It's not the facelift of Mazda 3. That's not here, but it's gonna have the same Koto design language. It's not an FRS. Uh, it's cool, it's kind of old news. Uh, I like the color. It's Ford Fusion. Ooh. Kia Forte Coupe, TGDI, Turbo. Kind of like me right now. John Barbados clothes. John Barbados Chrysler 300C edition. Now, it's only going to start if you're wearing John Barbados pants. That's a lie. Toyota Prius, official hybrid vehicle of the New York Yankees. Derek Jeter, great first name, by the way. But uh, he's going to be out the first couple games. So when he comes back, we're going to celebrate with a bottle of champagne that fits conveniently right into the holder of the glove box. And uh, that's right. And that's rapid fire auto show news. <laughs> wow, Derek, you really covered a lot. Yeah, that was uh, pretty rapid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. This Thursday, April 4th, we'll be back at the New York Auto Show on a public day. So if you plan on going that day, come find us. We'll probably have some t-shirts to give away and stuff, all right? So that's 
Thursday, April 4th. We'll probably be shooting around 11.30 or so. All right? Come say what's up. Meet the FLD crew. Well, that's it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. We're on Twitter. Follow us there. Facebook, like us, YouTube. Uh, subscribe. And iTunes. You can watch. Instagram. You know the deal. Pictures, T-shirts, and the FLD app. All right. Tuesday is in the books, as they say. And I'm going to go get some hot cakes after I uh, put it in the books. Yeah. Because there's an Instagram photo. Sergio Marchionis insists. Marchionis. Why is that plural? What's the number that? What, what number do you like for horsepower? I didn't even know. What do you mean? Like, what's like your number? I don't know. <laughs> my number? Yeah. My car now is 200. Yeah. See, I don't get out of bed for anything less than 400. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take it again. Yeah, let's do it. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.